Hello and welcome to another episode of The Breakdown, a series where we decode complex topics into simple, clear takeaways. There's always so much happening out there and making sense of it all can be tough. That's what we are here for. In this video, we are going to break down the future of EVs in India and give you a simple, clear understanding of what really matters. Let's get into it. The dream of owning an electric car is not just for the rich in India, it is becoming a reality for the middle class. And for years, if you were making that switch, the choice was simple. You are likely buying a car from one of the two homegrown giants, Tata or Mahindra. They laid the groundwork with models like Nexon EV, making it a blockbuster success. They built the trust and created a duopoly in the EV space. But that comfortable reign is now under serious threat. A new wave of global competitors is here. They're smart, they're well-funded, and they're targeting the exact same customer, the everyday Indian family. This is the real battle for India's electric future. It won't be fought in luxury showrooms, but on the crowded streets of your cities, in a price segment that decides who wins the volume game. So who are these new challengers? What makes them a threat? And what does this new competition mean for you? We will also break down the real cost of your daily commute and the hidden expenses of ownership you are not being told about. Stick around because the race of India's EV crown is just getting started. For the last few years, Tata Motors have been the undisputed king, commanding a staggering 70% of the total passenger EV market. The Nixon EV was a masterstroke, right product at the right time. They followed it up with even more accessible Tiago EV, solidifying their dominance. Mahindra, a powerhouse in SUVs, has been a strong, a bit distance number two. But the market is changing and fast. Let's meet the challengers who are here to break this duopoly. First up, Vietnam's win fast. They are not just importing cars, they're building them right here. With a massive 4,000 crore rupee investment in a new factory in Tamil Nadu, they have launched their premium SUVs, the VF6 and VF7. Their strategy is a direct playbook challenge to make in India. By manufacturing locally, they avoid hefty import duties, allowing them to control cost and compete heavily on the price. This isn't just about selling cars, it is about creating an entire ecosystem with showrooms, service centers and becoming a household name. Next up is MG, a brand with British heritage now owned by SEIC, is no stranger to our roads. They tasted success with the feature-packed GSEV and created a whole new micro-EV category with the Comet. Now they have joined forces with India's JSW Group. This joint venture is a game-changer. It gives MG a serious manufacturing muscle and a stronger Indian identity. With JSW's deep market understanding and MG's proven tech, they are a significant threat, steadily chipping away at the market share of the homegrown leaders. And then there is one many are calling a sleeping giant. China's BYD, to put it in perspective, they are the world's largest EV maker, even surpassing Tesla in global sales volume. Their secret weapon is technology. BYD is a battery company first and a car company second. Their blade battery is famous for its safety and longevity and because they are vertically integrated, meaning they make their own batteries, semiconductors and motors, they have a massive advantage in cost and supply chain. While their initial offerings in India, like Auto3, were premium, their global portfolio includes hyper-affordable models. A mass-market BYD car priced against the Nexon is a scenario that keeps the executive at Tata and Mahindra awake at night. This isn't just about more options. This is a price war, a technology race, and a battle for the trust of Indian buyer. The entry of these players means better product, more competitive pricing, and faster innovation for all of us. The duopoly is over. The great Indian EV race has truly begun. Now that you know the players, let's talk about the price of entry. First, the obvious, the EV costs about 4 to 5 lakhs more than its petrol counterpart. Then comes the starter pack cost that dealers often don't highlight. A proper 7 kilowatt fast charger costs between 40 to 75,000. But the real hidden cost is upgrading your home's electricity meter to a three phase connection. This entire process can easily cross 1 lakh rupees plus multiple visits to the electricity board. Insurance shock. Expect to pay 15 to 20% more for your EV insurance. For example, a 15 lakh petrol car might have an annual premium of 45,000. The 19 lakh EV version's premium would be somewhere around 60,000. The tire tax. EVs are heavy and their instant torque is brutal on rubber. Expect to replace your tires sooner than you would do on your petrol car, which is a significant recurring expense. Public charging premium. While 90% of charging happens at home, what about that highway trip? Home charging costs 6 to 8 rupees per unit. 
while a public charger can cost anywhere between 20 to 25 rupees per unit. A full charge on the highway can cost you three times as much as a charge at home. But here is where you win it all back, the daily commute. Let's assume a daily drive of 50 km or a 1500 km a month. With a petrol car giving 17 km per litre mileage, at a price of 110 rupees per litre petrol in a city like Mumbai, your monthly fuel bill is roughly 9700. With an EV charging at home at 8 rupees per unit, the same journey costs you just 1500 rupees a month. That's a direct saving of over 8000 rupees a month. That's nearly 1 lakh rupees every year. Over 5 years, you save around 5 lakh in fuel alone. Add in lower maintenance, no oil changes, no filters, and your total savings can easily surpass the initial premium you paid for the car. The future of electric vehicles for the Indian middle class is here and it is more competitive, more complicated and more exciting than ever. The pressure from Winfast local manufacturing, MG strategic partnerships is forcing our homegrown giants to innovate better and deliver more value. Yes, there is a higher entry price and a checklist of hidden costs to be aware of, but the math on the daily commute is undeniable. The long-term savings are real and substantial. An electric car is no longer just an environmental choice, it's a smart, calculated financial decision. And with this new wave of competition, the products are only going to get better and more affordable. What do you think? Is this new competition enough to make you switch? Let us know which car you are betting on in the comments below.